congratulations on bringing the Transformers back um, to the Thank big screen. Um, I've been a fan since I was uh, 10 years old. Uh, that was the first 2007 film. That was where it all started for me. So um, Fantastic. being sat here is just really a dream come true. So I thank love you. that. Thank you so much. That's and, awesome. Um, my favorite thing about the Transformers is how different they all look and how they make the jump from kind of animated or comic books to the live action. Mm -hmm. And with the Maximals, they're so unique. I was just wondering what challenges did you um, kind of face when bringing the Maximals to life? Mm -hmm. There's two really big challenges. One is a story perspective, which is how do you bring robots, how do you bring cars and animals together and feel like it's a logical thing. Um, they can't hide in an urban environment, so you gotta get to the jungle, number one. Yeah. So there was a storytelling aspect that was challenging. And then technologically, from a visual effects point of view, doing hair and hide is very complicated to begin yes. with, but then trying to make that organic material feel right with a mechanical material. And that combination is really tricky. Yes. Yeah, I remember with the Dinobots, they're so much more mechanized, whereas mm -hmm. with the Maximals, there's such uh, like a convergence between, like you said, organic yes. and and kind of um, that Transformer aesthetic that we're so, right. so, so used to. Um, and they all looked absolutely amazing on the big screen. And we've seen so many different types of Transformers. We've seen Dinobots, Knights, Terracons. Mm -hmm. and Insecticons. Exactly. And <laughs> like among all the different characters we've seen, are there any that kind of feel very special to you or you have a um, like a personal connection with? Well, I mean, I think Bumblebee is so utterly lovable that it's really hard not to have yeah. a connection with Bumblebee. And also, you know, Optimus is the kind of leader you hope in the real world we'd have more often of, you know? Yeah. Um, so in a way, those two stand out for me. Um, and and uh, you also see it in the fans' reactions. You know, it's crazy when we pull up the Camaro sometimes. Like, they just want to hear us rev the engine. Yeah. You know, and you rev the engine, they cheer. And it's great. It's like Bumblebee's look has just become so iconic. And, yeah. and it, I, I think it's something that's always going to stay with Transformers fans. Mm -hmm. And I think what was interesting for the progression from Bumblebee, which was a much smaller story, mm -hmm. was the introduction of kind of Unicron as well and the Maximals, the next natural step for the franchise. Or were you kind of workshopping other additional ideas. Well, we're always thinking about the, the lore, the mythology of it is so rich that we're always debating like, what about so-and-so or what about this idea? You know, the thing we wanted to do was we accomplished a real sense of intimacy with Bumblebee. And we wanted to bring that intimacy into the larger scale. Mm -hmm. And so then the larger scale leads to Unicron and a lot of stuff, right? Um, but also, it's that connection to the characters. And, and so trying to do it that way really led us to this, for instance, one of the ideas that comes out of that is giving a robot a character arc. Yep. You know, we give Optimus a character arc. And you see him in a different way than you've seen yes. him before. Yes, it's, it's such a different version of Optimus. But you see those familiar, um, like familiar aspects kind mm -hmm. of seep through the gaps. Yeah. And it's this progression from that new kind of leader, leadership yep. role to the kind of great Optimus Prime. Yeah, that, no, that it's a way it explains how he got to be in 2007. Exactly. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for answering all of my questions. And, Pleasure. And congratulations with the film. And to end, I was just wondering if you would sign my action sure, figure. Sure, come on. Cool. Thanks for watching, Super Friends. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button just down below and hit the bell so that you can get notified whenever we release brand new videos. In fact, there's two more waiting for you to watch right here below. So what are you waiting for? Why not click play?